welcome to a weekly vlog. You join me from my bedroom and it is Monday. What is the day? Monday the 20th of March. It's actually my dad's birthday today, back in the UK. I'm here, still his birthday here, he's just not here. I just thought I'd tell you because of the date. Anyway, it is actually Monday evening. As you can imagine, I was at work this morning. I did a little six hour shift, got back at lunchtime came home actually went to the gym but didn't film it went with tom tom's actually off on mondays which is so nice and now i have just got ready i look a lot more alive and i'm actually gonna go out for dinner with eve and Liv because it is actually eve's last night here in australia she flies back to the uk tomorrow by the time this vlog goes up eve will be back home i can't believe how quickly this time has gone like when she landed into melbourne we saw her the next day that feels like yesterday. That does not feel like six weeks ago. It's crazy to me that tonight is her last night. But I'll show you what I'm wearing for dinner. This is just the outfit I've got on. I've got my little red wrap top on that I actually bought for Valentine's Day. I'm wearing it with a top underneath just because two reasons. It's very, very gapy and a little bit too like risque just to go and sit and have some pizza. Um, and secondly, it's actually quite cold here in Melbourne. So this is my warmest, like nice outfit because all of my going out tops are like little strappy clubbing kind of tops. You know, they're not really like warm. Yeah, this is my outfit. I've just popped two little hair grips in the front pieces of my hair. This is kind of just because I've got very awkward in between length front sections, guys. Because like before I left, I'd had them cut into like, you know, face framing pieces. But now they're a lot longer than that. So they just sit a little bit weird and I can't really style them and I can't brush them back because they're not really a friend anymore. I just keep wearing them clipped up. Liv is actually about to meet us here now and then we are going to head off together to Arborea Flow. You probably will have seen it in my vlogs before. It is definitely a top Melbourne recommendation if you're looking for somewhere lovely to eat. It is a floating bar slash restaurant on the river. If you've ever been to Melbourne, you will have seen it. It is directly opposite the main train station and it is all always busy but you can't always book a table i went online and it basically said like walk-ins only um so we're gonna try and go there but if we can't get in there are a lot of places near there that are really nice to eat there are also on the river so we're just gonna see how it goes but that is our plan a we are in arboria float guys we've been in here a few times we ordered food we actually just took some photos so i'm gonna pick a favorite and i'll insert it here because we haven't had like an updated photo of the three of us for probably like I don't remember last when we went, went to that gold place, but yeah, oh September. yeah, yeah, since September. That's crazy. Actually. Was that when you all wore the same jeans? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we literally. Yeah. And that's so funny that you remember that she never remembers from it. <laughs> but yeah, we're at Arboria Flow. It is on the river. It's a really nice evening, actually, even though it's a bit cold, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the hoodie might be going on in a second, but food is just arriving. Got Liv and Eve here. Tom is also over here, official photographer. You look so tanned. I actually can't yeah, get over it. Distracted. In the two days that I haven't seen you, I saw you before the sun, and I'm like, where did you go? Did you get a tan? Because it wasn't here. But yeah, the food looks really good. I'm excited to eat. Don't really know what I've ordered. I'm sure it'll be good. Sounds I'm a bit worried, good. I'm quite hungry, so don't really know, but we shall see. It is ice cream time, guys. We are going inside. Look at the skyline behind me, it's so nice. We've just been taking some photos, which has been lovely. But now, priorities, obviously gelato. I don't know what's going on with this eyebrow, actually, but oh, have they brought that out for Easter? So many good flavors in this place, guys. It's called Cups and Cones. It's on the South Bank. This is like my fourth trip here. I do recommend it. This is goodbye to Eve. She is heading a separate way now. And then tomorrow, we're flying back to the UK. We'll see you guys till like Christmas. It'll fly though. How quick have the six weeks gone? Yeah, but that's six weeks. I know. Oh, it's it's oh. And it's you've okay. got some exciting things coming up. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Like a whole career. But <laughs> well, this is goodbye for now. Bye. Big sad. I hate saying goodbye. that makeshift tripod is a little bit wonky but hello guys it is tuesday i'm going to be brutally honest with you i am not feeling very well i haven't felt ill in the longest time and i said this the other day and lo and behold two days later i started to feel ill and i was like why have i said that i don't know why i jinxed myself i'm hoping it passes pretty quickly like to be honest i just feel like i was gonna say i feel like i've got a cold i don't even feel like i've got a cold i've just got a really sore throat and i'm like really tired i think i'm probably just run down because the first thing 
that goes for me when I'm ill, guys, is my throat. Like, I know that I'm getting ill because my throat starts to, like, feel really tight. Like, my tonsils flare up like this. So I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself. I was at work this morning, and to be honest, I'd taken quite strong cold and flu tablets, so I was actually okay at work. And then I got in, and I tried to sleep for, like, three hours. I thought, I'll just sleep in the afternoon. Like, I clearly need it. But I had three coffees at work, which actually was terrible. Like, working in a cafe when you're exhausted, it's like, oh, I'll just have another coffee. Oh, I'll just have a coffee. It's free. I mean, they're only small. Like, I had very small coffees, but still couldn't sleep. <laughs> so instead, I've just been editing, but I'm really not thriving. You can probably hear it in my voice. I am hoping it passes quickly. I'm trying to just, like, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of fruit. However, something that has been cheering me up. Oh, my God, guys. We have to talk about this. The start of Taylor Swift's tour. Like, are you bloody joking me? I feel as though even if you're not a Taylor Swift fan, you've probably seen it on TikTok because she is slaying the game right now. Like, the opening night of her tour looks like one of the best nights of my life and I wasn't even there. If you don't know, she is currently touring on what she has called her era's tour. And it is like three hours and 15 minutes long. She is singing 44 freaking songs from her back catalog. Only actually about six or seven of them are from her Midnight's album. All of the rest of them are like Red, 1989, Lover, Folklore, Evermore. Like I cannot believe how many songs she has crammed into this set list. She also has 16 outfit changes. Like I have spent a lot of time over the last few days watching this on TikTok and I cannot wait to attend. I feel like I have not spoken too much about it on YouTube because it all happened at the same time that I flew to Australia. Like you couldn't make this up, but the day the tickets went on pre-sale for the US leg of the tour was the day that I flew to Australia. And in my panicked state, I did everything in my power to get tickets to this tour. But I was moving my life from the UK to Australia. I somehow managed to get tickets to go to LA to see her close this tour. Like, I am buzzing. But it is a bit excessive. I will say it. Like, it is excessive. But I actually don't care. Like, this is the kind of thing you save up money for. This wasn't me trying to justify it. This was just me talking about it because I feel like I've not really mentioned it. So, I am going to one of her LA dates. Potentially two, guys. I did a stupid thing and got tickets online for her closing night the other day because I have tickets to her second to last night. But I'm still going to be in LA on her closing night. And I just knew that I would have FOMO. So, I found some tickets online but I'm not 100% sure if I trust it. Stay tuned to see if I get scammed but I have taken out insurance against them so like either way either way I definitely definitely have tickets to one of her shows and I am actually on the second freaking row yes I've paid a lot of money for it but also she's not told for five years and this woman quite literally single-handedly got me through the pandemic and has got me through my entire life to be honest since I was nine years old I've been like a big T Swift fan the reputation tour was one of the best nights of my life so I was going no matter the cost, I was going. Anyway, I've spent a lot of time today watching that. That's the point of this. And I would love to hear your thoughts. If you were there in Arizona the other night, I would love to hear a first-hand account, even though I've watched probably most of them on TikTok. And I just, I feel like my date is ages away. She's not playing in LA until August. So it's a long time coming. Anyway, I'm going to stop the Taylor Swift talk because I know some of you are not interested. But that has been my day and that is what's cheering me up. Honestly, this tour just looks freaking insane. Anyway, right now, I'm actually going to FaceTime my mum, I think, because I do feel a bit sorry for myself. And uh, I'm going to my mom. I look dreadful. How are you doing? Okay. What's this? Hello. Long time no see. Long time no see. As a kid I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then My heart so pure I had no fear I am not feeling better. You can probably tell. I'm feeling sorry for myself. I have not felt poorly really since being in Australia, which is um, a good thing, but also terrible timing. Well, actually, there's never good timing to be ill, is there? I got back from work this morning because I did go to work because when I woke up, I thought, oh, I'll probably be all right. Like, basically, I get up and go straight out. So I don't really have time to, like, gauge how I feel because, you know, when you're ill, you always feel worse, like, in the morning and in a night. And yesterday, I actually felt a lot better. So anyway, yeah, I was like, oh, I think I'll be fine. And at work, actually, I was okay. I had a lot of, like, tablets, so I think that helped. Then I got back from work, and I have slept for five hours. So I've done something that kind of will cheer me up, I hope, because I just can't be bothered to cook. See how that's a big portion. That was a massive portion. 
So I ordered a pad thai because I thought that I want veggies, I want nutrients, and I also want comfort food. And for me, I just love a pad thai. Uh, and I actually got $10 off it because the last time I ordered from Menu Log, which is just eat, it took two and a half hours to come. And I'm not the kind of person that complains, but I did complain on the app because I was like, I could have walked to the restaurant that was like four miles away. Got it, like walked back again. So they gave me a $10 voucher. <laughs> so I used that, so I did get a discount. I'm gonna eat this and watch Daisy Jones and the Six, but guys, I'm just not thriving. Honestly, feeling poorly when you live around the other side of the world from your family is when you feel it the most, trust me. Like I have been feeling pretty lonely this week. When I'm ill like this, even though I'm an adult myself, I do kind of just want to be looked after by my mum or by somebody. Like, definitely, at least by Tom, but obviously Tom's at work, so I'm just, like, wallowing around by myself for no reason. Like, I don't need to feel sorry for myself. It's really not that deep. I'm not that ill. I'm just, like, very run down, very, like, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that my five-hour nap is going to help and that these veggies are going to help, too. And then I actually have an unboxing for you because in my woeful state, I, uh, I ordered some clothes. <laughs> oh, God, guys. not looking any more alive but i'm feeling a little bit better after eating and taking some more color blue tablets but i thought i would open this on camera because i ordered some more stuff off of white fox after i posted my stories the other day basically if you didn't see them i posted some instagram stories with a discount code uh, for you guys i will pop it on screen if you want to shop the white fox website it's not an affiliate link it's just a discount code for you guys um, and they have so much nice stuff on there and even if this code just allows you to get free delivery honestly their clothes are such good quality and they do ship to the uk that was a popular question that i got but anyway i posted these stories and i was like oh i'm gonna look on the website again looking on the website again led me to ordering from the website so i thought that we would open this together i'm very excited about this so this is a hoodie guys and um, i am a little bit obsessed with it it was this gray color i went for small slash medium i hope that this is quite an oversized fit it looks like it will be quite um because it does say oversized already the reason that i ordered this is because my goose and gander hoodie that i've been wearing a lot here so my purple one tom actually shrunk it in the tumble dryer i had been like trying to not tumble dry things like that and then tom put everything in the tumble dryer it was an honest mistake uh, but it came out and it looks like it would probably fit a child now which is really not ideal but it's also the only hoodie i have here because obviously i've got this but this doesn't have a hood and as i say the seasons are changing here in melbourne i picked up this it says white fox on the back I'm gonna try it on. One white fox sweatshirt to another. So I am wearing pajamas. Am I gonna return this? I already know that I'm not. <laughs> Let's cut the tag out. Mm, it is so fluffy inside, oh my god. Yeah, that is pretty big. Not like massive, but it'll look good with leggings. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what else I really love actually? I love the fit of the hood. I love when a hood is like really oversized like this because that is so much more snuggly than a hug being a hug. <gasps> a hug. That's probably because I want a hug right now. <laughs> a hood being really tight oh my god i'm gonna be living in this catch me living in this for the rest of ever this is the back yeah my aim guys is to not shrink this one because this is the perfect fit it's like got cozy hands cozy hood oh it doesn't have oh my god it doesn't have a drawstring i don't think i've ever had a hoodie where it doesn't have a drawstring that's actually really good though to be fair because uh, i do always kind of think what is the purpose of them tom did buy me some chocolate chip cookies guys because these are the best we've mentioned them before but if you're ever in australia Go to Coles, go to their bakery section, try these. Oh. I can't even tell you how many glasses of water I've drank today. My new tactic is hydrate, 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 flush it out my system. Um, probably going to be up all night weeing. Yeah, this is my hoodie. I'm happy with it. She said boogie, boogie. If you want to shop White Fox, I will link the discount code down below and also pop it on the screen and you too could own this very snuggly charcoal grey hoodie. They do it in about 20 colours though. If you're not after grey, they've got loads. I am tempted to order more, but I don't have the space for any more hoodies. <laughs> Okay, I am in bed, quite clearly. I just did think about if it's even worth uploading this vlog, but then I thought, you guys know that I like to keep it real, and I do feel as though, actually, this is probably one of the hardest weeks that I've really had since being in Australia, just for, like, the reasons I was talking about earlier. And I actually am fine. Like, you know, there's so much exciting stuff coming up, you guys will see so soon. But, like, obviously, when you feel rubbish, you do just feel rubbish. 
I feel quite a lot better now than I did earlier. Like, honestly, I think that, like, I have not... I'm not joking, I've probably drank about three litres of water and I actually think that has really, really helped. But I do feel a lot more like hydrated and like just a bit better in myself. My pad time was very nice. And then you guys saw I was just doing a painting. That is how you know that I'm in like a, a woe is me mood because using painting as a comfort is not something I've done since I was like 15 really. Um, but I was doing that whilst watching Daisy Jones and The Sick. And I really like it guys. I would love to know if you're watching it what you think. Yeah, I would love to know what you think because I've read the book and I think that for once actually the adaptation works almost better than the book. Basically if you haven't read it, it's a book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And it's written in the style of a documentary, which is, I think, probably what interested Amazon in adapting it, because it's basically telling the story of this, like, rock band from, like, the 70s, very loosely based on Fleetwood Mac, I think. But the adaptation is so well done that if you had never heard of the book and you just were to, like, stumble across it on Netflix, Netflix? Amazon Prime probably could think it's legit like I started it especially the first episode the first like couple of minutes I was like this is such a legit style documentary obviously as it goes on it does tell the story a lot more and it's like less focused on present day them and more focused on the story of the band but yeah I would love to know what you're thinking if you are watching it and if you're not I really really recommend it and I don't necessarily think you have to have read the book to be fair although the book is great anything by Taylor Jenkins Reid is great uh, but that's what I've been doing tonight. I watched three episodes of that. I'm on episode six now because I watched three yesterday as well. Um, so I'm quite near the end. I don't fully remember the book. Like, I do this thing where I read very quickly and then sometimes don't really remember it. But I've seen a lot of people saying on Twitter that there's a few adaptations, like a few differences between the book and the show. So yeah, if you're a fan, let me know what you think. I have spent the entire time watching it, deciding if I would rather be Karen, Daisy or Camilla because, oh my God, the actresses playing those three women. Firstly, the fashion in it I'm obsessed with. Secondly, they're stunning. Thirdly, they're just like girl boss energy. And yeah, it's really good. I really like it. More water. Anyway, Tom is home from work now. I actually can't believe how rough I'm going to have looked in this entire vlog. Um, so it's obviously really nice to have him back. And even if I am annoying him by complaining that I'm not very well, it is nice to not be by myself and I've definitely perked up a little bit. But yeah, I'll pick you up tomorrow when hopefully, guys, I will join you in the next clip and be like, ah, oh, I feel so much better. Okay, even though it doesn't look it, it is the next day. Uh, yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie. There is a strong potential I might be wearing this hoodie for the foreseeable future, actually. I am feeling a bit better. Not, like, back to 100%, but definitely an improvement on yesterday. I can't tell you how much sleep actually helps. Like, I don't know if anybody else relates to this. Can't deal with that, the appearance, really. But when I was younger, I definitely used to be the kind of person that was like, I don't need sleep. Sleep won't make me feel better. I'm not getting an early night. I'm not going to bed. Yeah, it turns out actually that is what makes you feel better. I've slept a lot and now I've woken up and I want to tidy the entire flat. Like, you know, when you've just had a week of living in your bed uh, and it starts to look kind of like a cave, kind of like a shell of a human might be existing in that room. Yeah, it's that time. It's time to tidy up. And I want to watch the last two episodes of Daisy Jones and the Six, but I'm not gonna do that until I've tidied. So look at the bedroom, guys. Oh my God. I want to reiterate that I have been ill, please. Here's the bathroom, also not that tidy. Oh God. Here's the kitchen, also a mess. Oh dear. So um, let's get sorted, shall we? I just finished Daisy Jones and the Six. Yes, maybe I was crying a little bit. Guys, it's so good. I'm not going to bang on about it again. I'm just going to say watch it. If you haven't already, it's on Amazon Prime. It is one of the best things I've seen in a very long time. Probably one of the best book to TV or film adaptations I have ever, ever seen. It. It's, it's done amazingly. And the end is very sad. I, I actually forgot how it ended. I've literally read the book. I know how it ends. I was watching it and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot that that's what's happening. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna go to bed, try and get another early night. I do feel quite a lot better than I did yesterday night at this time. So that's good. I feel like I said, it's always a judgment of like how you feel in an evening and how you feel in the morning. That's when you know that you're kind of getting better. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry it's been quite a lot of complaining, quite a lot of me feeling sorry for myself. But like I said, I do just like to keep it real, keep it honest. Yeah, it has not been the easiest week. It's not been the most fun week. Uh, obviously, it was lovely to see Evelyn live 
at the beginning of the week but then since then it's kind of been a bit of a downward spiral but I do feel as though I'm on the up now so yeah the next video on my channel hopefully will be a bit more positive I do apologize about this one I shall see you all in the next one and thank you for watching anyway bye guys <laughs>